This video describes some techniques which can be used for the closure of multiple parallel lacerations. This is overall an uncommon situation, but is sometimes seen in the emergency department setting. The artificial skin that is used in these videos is designed by YourDesignMedical.com. Method 1 involves placing a simple interrupted suture that goes through and through the bridge of tissue intervening two parallel lacerations. So for example, you'll begin by placing a suture through one cut edge of the wound. You can then exit through the dermis for more precision if needed. And you'll simply introduce the suture again through the dermal portion of that intervening tissue island which is created by the two parallel lacerations. Again, the tissue can be exited at the dermal layer and the needle driver can be used to again enter the tissue in the far end of the wound. You would then exit through the epidermis and simply tie off the suture as you would with any simple interrupted sutures. The disadvantages of using this technique is that you lose control over the ability to precisely evert and approximate the edges of each individual laceration. Secondly, you end up kind of bunching up the tissue that's in between in the two parallel lacerations. A final drawback is that this technique can only really be used for two parallel lacerations and no more. Method two involves placement of a horizontal mattress suture type pattern in order to bring together the parallel lacerations. Again, you'll drive through the epidermis into the dermal layer through the tissue island and then again on the far side through the dermal layer and out the epidermis. Then, as with any horizontal mattress suture, you will backhand the suture. You'll go through the epidermis, through the dermis of the intervening tissue island, and then finally through the dermis and out the epidermis on the original side. You'll then tie off the laceration on the same side of the wound. The benefits here involved increased precision and control over approximation of the tissue island, but as you see, it can kind of pull on the far end of the wound and cause some puckering, which can be a problem if you're dealing with multiple parallel lacerations. The third method is a method which can be employed when you are dealing with several parallel lacerations. This involves placement of a figure of eight type pattern in order to bring the cut edges of the wound together. You will begin by starting at the far laceration, going epidermal through the dermal layer, and then out through the epidermis in the first intervening tissue island. Different than with the other techniques, you are then going to continue in a parallel line through the next tissue island, basically bridging the next laceration by placing a suture through the epidermis and again out through the dermis and up out of the next intervening tissue island. In essence, by repeating this pattern, you can close not just one or two, but several parallel lacerations as long as they are relatively symmetric and have relatively similar sizes of the intervening tissue islands. By performing this technique, you've created a snake-like figure of eight type pattern. At this point, you'll turn the suture around, you'll backhand it, and you'll weave it through each of the intervening tissue islands in a similar fashion, piercing each of the tissue islands and weaving the suture, thus creating the final figure of eight appearance. And you'll continue to weave this same pattern back to the side upon which you started. One downside of using a technique like this is that it has the potential to somewhat strangulate each of the tissue islands in between with multiple puncture sites introduced into each island of tissue. However, the strong advantage is that each of the epidermal lacerations is carefully approximated and multiple lacerations can be closed in a series. Each of these techniques was described in a series of letters which were published in the Annals of Emergency Medicine from 1987 to 1988. They can further be read about in a blog published on my website, www.lacerationrepair.com.